Well, we're back at the rescue house and uh, we're in another bedroom. Now, I've done two or three videos about the moisture coming up through the wood floor in the bedroom next to this one. And again, this is a room that had a bunch of stuff stored in it and they decided to move it so they could clean it up. And once again, this floor has got a major mold problem. This is all mold that is coming up. It's moisture coming up through the wood floor, which is glued down again. And now this floor is going to have to be pulled up as well. Now, our, our, of course, our client wasn't counting on that. This is all a big surprise and a huge disappointment for him. But um, again, I keep coming back to the same issue I always do with these things and that's whether gluing down a wood floor is a good choice and it may be fine under normal conditions but I run into particularly in older homes I run into this problem a lot where wood floors fail after they're glued down and I think it's just that some of these old slabs have a lot of moisture coming up through them and there's no way to really control that. Um, it's, it's easy in hindsight to say the floor shouldn't have been glued, but uh, at the time they made the best decision they knew how and didn't really see that it was a problem. So uh, here we go again for these, this poor, <laughs> these couple, and I don't mean poor financially, but they're getting poor financially with all of this stuff going on. Uh, this is expensive to take this stuff up and redo it. So you want to think through. Now, what I've recommended to them, and I'd recommend to anybody uh, thinking about putting down a wood floor. Uh, in, this is engineered wood. And I would uh, recommend that you do a moisture test on the concrete. Take a moisture sensor and see if there's less than 10% moisture coming up through that slab. I'm not sure how successful that would be, but I mean, at, at least it, it gives you something to try. So 10% is sort of the threshold that we, we strive for in moisture content and walls and anything inside a house. So, um, Test it before you embark on a new floor. And then if you have a high moisture content, then don't glue it down. Put down a plastic membrane and put the floor, do a floating floor. And that could save you a whole lot of headache and expense down the road. Now you could, <clears throat> you could go ahead and put this new floor in here and glue it down, which is what they planned on doing. And you might get you know, five, 10 years out of it. You might get more than that. I don't know. The, uh, the other one was about, I think five or six years old. I think this floor is five or six years old. Um, but at some point you run the risk of this same thing happening again. So my recommendation to this homeowner is to not go back with a glue down floor. I will say this, there are some new glues that they've got specifically for this problem and they claim that they will uh, not allow this to happen, that they'll actually uh, seal the concrete and act as an adhesive for the wood. And so I don't have any reason not to believe that, but these floors obviously weren't used with that type of a product. So if they decide to glue it down with the other stuff, we'll keep track of it and see how we like it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.